YouTubes. I got an ice maker, an older ice maker we're going to look at. It has a bad fan cycling switch. I've already went out there and bypassed it just to get them by. And I'm going to show you my little hack with a over-the-counter Mars fan cycling switch and a little quarter-inch access fitting with the Schrader to where we'll install this access fitting with the Schrader and the fan cycling switch so if it ever craps out again in the future you could just spin it right off of there and spin a new one on um, and I'll bring you guys along for the journey on these ones I usually just recover the gas to get in there because I've had terrible luck over my career with pinch off tools so I don't even bother uh, and I've, I've said that before in previous videos when I do the Manitowoc fan cycling switches I don't even I ain't mess around with the fan cycle, uh, the pitch off tool on the fan cycling switches. The units hold such little gas, you can just recover it real quick. So I just break out the recovery and recover the gas. So let's get out there and I'll bring you guys along. Look, the weather's still chunking. This is a summer pattern on the coast. You get the, the June gloom coastal fog and, uh, Come on, sunshine. Got their little truck, truck full of redwoods. Yeah, some freshies chopped out. All right, just gonna grab the bigger tool bag and the, these gauges with the longer hoses. The machine's up high, so let's make the recovery easier. Let's get in there. All right, here we are. I gotta change out that other water filter. I only had one the other day. So I got that, and we'll do this fan cycler. Get this opened up. Look at that full of ice. All right, here's the kit I use. I'm gonna use the Mars 43306. It's close enough on the on the cut in and cut out. Cuts in at 275, cuts out at 210. And then you just get your access fitting with the Schrader in it. Open up this. Get your access with the Schrader core. This switch has a Schrader depressor. So going forward, all you got to do is spin it off. Spin a new one back on. A little coupler. Get your dryer. And that's about it. <clears throat> now let's go recover this thing and, and get cracking. All right, got the machine on, tanks open, we're all purged. Let's go, we'll start sucking out of the high side. There we go. Me, it's just faster just to recover it and take care of business <clears throat> when i get on top i'll show you where my jumper wire is and all that fun stuff i just jumpered out the fan cycling switch and it made ice usually um you'll end up with a, a harvest issue because it won't get hot enough to harvest the ice but it made it through i got lucky on this one okay there's my switch that failed right here <coughs> <clears throat> There's my jumper wire that I had put in. And you can see it's been changed once before. Might be a little stub we could sweat out right there. That's what it looks like right here. We could sweat that stub out. <coughs> and we wouldn't even need to use the coupling. Right there. You can see someone had a pinch off tool at one time. And then the trick is not to melt the wires. We'll get some wet rag of Titus on there and we'll get that off of there.
is. Has been changed before. Cool it off on the rack here. off here. That dude double wrenched on there good. Just about there. Okay. So we had our switch replaced. We got our dryer replaced. Now we gotta nitrogen charge this thing. Do our little wires. Passes the leak test and then we can pull it on a vacuum. And these are our wires on there. We'll cut those down, make them match up on these. There they are. We'll put a couple male spade connectors right here. We'll cut those back and crimp on a couple male spades right there. And then in the future if it dies all you got to do is unscrew it because it has a Schrader. sure I got a good connection. I broke out the top Don TC002 thermal imager and we're taking a look at the ice maker here. You can see the water pump. This thing is is pretty pretty good resolution on this thermal imager. Um there's a video on it on my channel, check it out. The uh 
you can see the relays on the circuit board, the transformer on the circuit board getting a little warm. And then check out the PTCR for the compressor. That thing's a scorcher. And uh, yeah, 200 and what was it? 250 degrees, 240 degrees. It's a pretty decent thermal imager. Um, it uses the power off your phone to supply it so there's no battery to recharge on it um, and the image is not bad at all the temperature readings are great you know you're looking for hot spots it uh, definitely shows the hot spots really good and it's not a bad little thermal imager there's other brands on the market there's flare there's um, What's the other one called? Can't remember the name of the other one. But this is the Top Dawn's not bad. Not a bad little thermal imaging. Here's the ice as we're going into harvest. Now, the one thing I did notice with the old Fleur, and I'll have to find some old video on my channels. So I think you could see the, the penetration. Uh, you can see the pipes better. Like it penetrated more. This one here is a, uh, I don't know if it has the ability to do that as good as the other ones. Like, you can see, yeah, you can definitely see the tubing behind the um, evaporator there. Did you see that? You can see where it's all cold. And you can see the tubing behind the evaporator on that shot. So this one's pretty good. The old Top Dawn TC002 for iOS. They also have it for Android. But this ice maker is back together, and I'm pretty stoked on it. It's all, it's all back together. Yeah. So, yeah, we're back in action. There's always something wrong with this. This old timer right here. 2002. Holy fuck. You're going to have to replace that pretty soon, huh? Yeah. Is it like a 10-year warranty or 12-year? No, no, they no. They go like five years on the compressor, and I think the factory rates them to last 10 years. Oh, this has been a good one. Real good, real good machine.